Hey YouTube, Captain Mark here from King's Landing Sport Fishing and today I want to do a video, um, it's a bit of a follow up video to my last one where I talked about my Project Pen Optics. And in that project I talked about um, what I was using but I also talked about the fact that I was using some Ritec mounts for my Pen Optics transducer installation as well as my GT transducer installation. But what I didn't mention is I've also got the, uh, the Ritec Marine mount for the fishhawk, you know, part number RTM 1000 for the fishhawk transducer. And today I want to actually show you that mount and I want to show you how easy it is to put that mount together as I plan to assemble it right here on this video. And I'll talk about the benefits of it. But before I do that, please don't forget to click on the like button and don't forget to click on the subscribe button as it helps me out a great deal as a YouTube content producer. So uh, let's dive in and I'm going to put this thing together super quick, uh, super quick here. I think I've got almost all the tools I need. I just need to make sure I've got everything. Um, you know, my, my screwdrivers, my uh, my wrenches and such. Because uh, that way I can show you how quick it is. So, Fishhawk Transducer. And this one, this one's a used one. It's off uh, It's off one of my boats. Um, I'm actually going to put it on the on the, the back of the Tierra this year. So, right tech mounts a couple of pieces. So, first piece just slides right in to the, uh, to the existing Fishhawk Transducer. Like so. Fits on the top, puts a stainless steel piece uh, on there, and now you can see the this holes that uh, to actually uh, mount this together. The next piece I'm going to do is I'm going to take these little brackets, and they go on each side. So I'm going to take these, and Ritec provides these stainless steel uh, bolts with uh, with lock washers. So I'm going to I'm going to start assembling these together. Um, everything is everything stainless steel. Everything are lock washers. You know, I, I think the attention to detail on this mount is 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 absolutely fantastic. I'm just gonna quickly put this together. Bear with me here. So there's one side, and I'm gonna get the other side put together as well. You know, you'll see here they're uh, they're Allen Allen head bolts, and I've got all the Allen heads ready to go here. So. Screw those in. Nice, nice snug fit when you've actually got to, you know, help them with a screwdriver. I like that. Everything is, uh, everything is made to fit really nice and tight. Put the, uh, put the lock wire, sorry, the locking nuts on the back. They're nylocks, which is great. And then I can crank this down super quick. Um, and you'll see this thing's going together like butter in, uh, in in no time at all. Now I'm going to just take it. I've got a, uh, a 3 8 wrench. I've got my, I, I don't know what size Allen head it is, but it's super small. Just going to crank this thing down a bit just so I can show you guys. So there's one. Get the second one in here. Always, always difficult to put these things together when you're trying to do a video. It'd be much easier if I, you know, was in the garage on the workbench, but uh, I'm, I'm not. I'm in front of I'm in front of a camera, so. But it's coming together nicely, super quick. Like I said, you don't need much for tools at all. Um, you know, and and ready to go. And I've got the last one here. So this mount is almost together, and then I'm going to talk about. A lot of the benefits to this mount versus the standard fishhawk one. Don't get me wrong, the fishhawk one's good. It works for, you know, it probably works for most people. But, you know, the way I look at it is I spend a lot of money in that fishhawk. I want it to be rock solid. So now that I've got, I've got my fishhawk transducer essentially assembled, um, you know, now I just have to add the main bracket for the, for the pivot. So now, here's the main, here's the main bracket. And I'm going to start adding that on. So... Right Tech provides you with a with a, a a bar that goes in the middle to run the uh, to run the bolt or the pin through, you know, and that, and it's a pretty this is actually a pretty important piece of the Right Tech mount, and I'll explain that in a second. So what you'll see here is I've now oh one second one one thing I forgot to do is I forgot to actually put the. Uh, 
you put the wire in the right spot. And I'll explain why in a second. So let me just move that, get the wire in the right spot. You know, and now the right tech mount is assembled. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just crank this down a little bit uh, on the pivot point. So I wanna explain one of the benefits there as well. So let me show you guys a little bit more. Almost. There we go. So, now, let's talk about the benefits of this mount. First, I think one of the biggest benefits is what I call cable management. You see, you got this cable here, and often it can float, wander around, get chafed or damaged on stuff. Right Tech actually gives you an open grommet that you can put on the cable, and then it's got a little hole that it slides right in. And as you can see right there, there is a home for that cable. It's not gonna budge, it's not getting damaged. So that's the first benefit, you know, is cable management. The second one is height adjustment. If you look at the back here, you can see the, the holes are huge. Um, you know, the one thing I would say, uh, you know, sometimes you, 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 know, you mount the transducer in the back of the boat and then you realize, oh my gosh, it's too high, it's too low, it's obstructing something else. Maybe I'm getting a massive rooster tail and uh, you can adjust up and down to get it where you want without having to drill all kinds of new all kinds of new holes so that's one of the benefits the other benefits I'd say is angle adjustment while you can adjust the angle with the factory fishhawk mounts um, it's super easy because you have to have a pivot point on this one and you can just actually change change the angle here so you can see you know right there I've put this in a major angle um, there's lots of advantages to this I'd say first advantage is if you've got you know, some of these boats have got some really weird transoms. Um, you know, they're not straight up and down. They've got really weird angles on them. Or some of them have even got, you know, the, the transom that goes back and in. And you might have, you know, you might have to install it on something like that. I've even somewhere, you're, you're, somewhere you're practically installing it, um, you know, call it, uh, what's that, I guess, 180 degrees. Um, and you can do that with a right tech mount. So if you've got a, if you've got a boat with a really weird transom, um, this thing can be an absolute lifesaver. The other benefit too, like, you know, the fishhawk transducer, the, the, the crystals in the transducer are actually tilted because they know that your downrigger cables are going to be sitting slightly off uh, the back. But let's say you're, um, let's say you're trolling faster or you've got some crazy currents, or you're trolling really deep. You know, there's times you will not be able to pick up your, uh, your probe with your transducer. Now, if, you've, if you're someone that doesn't have a swim platform and can actually access your transducer, you can set the torque tight enough here that it won't move under, under speed or under trolling, but that you can actually tilt it. So maybe, maybe I need to tilt my uh, transducer because I'm fishing really deep or you know, trolling a bit quicker today. You can do that with the, with the, um, the right tech mount. And then just lastly, you, know, you can just see as you look at this thing, it's super strong. Super, super strong is this mount. You know, you got this expensive, uh, and I don't, I don't mean expensive in that it's too much money, but you spent good money on your fish hawk. Why not spend some good money on, an, on a great mount for it? So, lots of uh, lots of advantages to this fish hawk mount. This is the Rytec RTM 1000 mount for the fish hawk. Um, they're available on Rytec's website. I do know they've got a Canadian and a US website, so I am going to put links in the description to help folks out. Because I know when I was first searching for Rytec, I kept going to the American website and you can't actually buy if you're in Canada. And then likewise, if you're in the US and you try and buy, or, or worldwide actually, and you try and buy off the Canadian website, that doesn't work either. But uh, look them up, give them a try. This is a fantastic uh, uh, mount, super solid for your, your Fishhawk transducer. Anyways, hope you find this video useful. Uh, good luck in 2022, folks, and have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.